Hello and welcome to Glittering the Coast. My name is Angela and today we're going to be doing a gorgeous tropical tumbler with monstera leaves and leopard print. So I have not done the leopard print called fuzzy leopard print before and I'm really excited to show you how I did it. So we're starting off with this really beautiful vinyl. It is from Zindi and that specific vinyl will be linked in the description for you. They have really great printable vinyl and HTV, so, and they have tons of glitter too. Lots of acrylic blanks, so if you're ever looking for anything um, different, go check them out. Um, so what I'm doing is I measured a space that I wanted to put on my tumbler, and it was probably about six inches. I'm putting this on a 30 ounce tumbler, and I'm just uh, measuring the cutting off the excess that I didn't need for the cup. So I want to make this as straight as possible. So I have a, um, what do you call it, like a whiteboard marker and I just put it on the cup so I can kind of get it straight. This is my favorite way to add vinyl to cups. Um, so if you've never done a water method, basically I have a squirt of Dawn dish soap in a, a container. Um, with water and I put the vinyl in there and made sure that it was wet on the underneath side and then I am Going in making sure that my cup is wet and just kind of line it up as best as you can So what I'm doing now is I'm going to be cutting off the excess that I don't need I'm using my exacto knife and just going over uh, lightly on the surface of that first layer and just removing the excess and I think I have a bubble underneath that I just could not get rid of on that under layer so I am just fiddling with this vinyl um, and making sure that I get all of the air bubbles out on that side uh, where it connects to the cup so once again I am removing a little bit of that excess I couldn't I had a little overlap um, on the underneath part of the vinyl and removing that and flipping it back over to make sure that everything is sealed nicely and lines up really well and if not if you use the water method you can take off the vinyl and start over again so do as I say not as I'm doing here oh my gosh I've done it again um, whenever you're using a squeegee don't use the hard part use the soft part I do this every single time and I have no idea why <laughs> why I use the hard part I just feel like maybe that's gonna squeeze out the liquid more I don't know but anyway I am using the squeegee so I can get out any of the water that's still trapped underneath the cup and um, you can see me smoothing my finger over trying to fill any more bubbles underneath that vinyl so like I said use the soft part um, if you're having issues getting any of the bubbles out you can use an exacto knife or you can use a pen pen and you can um, make a small and little basically poke where the water bubble is and you can squeeze out the water bubble that way. Now I'm going over the lines as best as I can with my painter's tape and I'm going to be spray painting the silver parts. So I want to cover up my vinyl and I'm using, I don't know what size, probably two inch of the blue painter's tape going around very carefully and putting that on and I think the colors that I'm using here are yeah they're by Rust-Oleum and I have a light blue that will be going on the bottom and then I have a white that's going on top I like I'm gonna be putting pink on top so I really like for white to be my base color unless I can find like a really nice fluorescent pink where I don't have to spray my white on first I'm I'm just going to go with white and make sure that my glitter is covered um, completely on the white surface. So as you see here with the tape, I'm, I make little ledges. I fold the tape over onto itself so that when I'm ready to remove the tape, I don't have to guess and find out, figure out where I actually put um, the edge so that it's easy for me to take off of the cup itself. And I did this as soon as I got all the water bubbles out of my cup. So 
as long as your vinyl is sealed onto your cup um, properly, you should have no issues with going into this next step. Just make sure that the cup is completely dry because water and epoxy do not like each other. So I've got my favorite epoxy here. It is called Liquidy Split Ultra UV. It's by KS Resin. And I have a 5% discount link in the description for the resin. And I'm mixing up five milliliters for this in my medicine cup. And if I didn't say it before, everything that I use will be linked in the description. And then I also have a 15% off code for K, um, KCC Glitter. And that's also linked in the description. So if you're looking for some savings, head on over and check it out. So here is my cup. It has been spray painted and the tape has been removed. I've got a glove on my hand and I'm just working this epoxy into the cup. I'm taking my finger and just lightly rubbing a little bit onto the vinyl and picking my finger up. I'm kind of swiping it. Um, I want a little bit of that glitter once I get into the glitter. I want some of that to cascade into the vinyl um, so that I don't have a harsh line where this vinyl meets the glitter. So I do that on the white side also. And I don't have a lot of epoxy on my glove. We don't want to add too much epoxy to this step because we don't need streaks and striations. Just, it's basically enough to make sure that the cup is, you know, wet with epoxy, but not oversaturated like you would if you were going to be putting epoxy over your glitter. So my first glitter color that I'm using today is by BJ's Glitter. And this one is called Flamingo. If you have, if you do not have this glitter, <clears throat> I wish I had a discount code for you, but I don't. This is my absolute favorite glitter color ever. I am obsessed with it. I have a cup um, made with it, and every time I have it out in public, people ask me about it. It's gorgeous. So it's a really pretty pink color, but it has a gold shift to it. So now that I've got the white part covered with the glitter, I'm sprinkling on um, the chunky glitter onto the vinyl part. So I don't know really what I was thinking here, just hoping that it wouldn't clump up and just look like a giant line. So that's what I was doing there. I have a love-hate relationship with Find the Chunky Glitter, but I love this glitter. It matches perfectly with Flamingo. It's also by BJ's Glitter and it is called Bedrock. So what I'm doing here is I'm going over my chunky glitter and praying that I didn't have too much epoxy on and that it would just fill in the gaps. And I'm going to show you a little tip here. If you've never done this before, working with fine and chunky glitter, you can have some issues. So I use a little tea strainer. I think I stole this from my mom. I'm sorry, mom, I have it. You can't have it back. <laughs> and I'm just separating the chunky from the fine glitter. It works like a charm, so that's what I use. All right, and this is my favorite like ocean glitter color. It's by Carpe, it's called Carpe Diem. It's by KCC Glitter. And you can save 15% with my code that's linked in the description. It's called, let's see, the code is GTC for Glittering the Coast 15. So I'm kind of going in, doing the same thing I did with the pink glitter. I'm laying down my chunky glitter first. I'm patting it down just a little bit, and then I will be going in with a fine glitter. I don't know if um, my friend Christy has a matching glitter for this one um, from KCC Glitter, but I'm using Bermuda from BJ's Glitter and it's a perfect match. So if you're looking for something similar, that's gonna be a great glitter combination for you. And I like to, to keep the chunky glitter off of the bottom of the cup, if I can help it. That way it's way less sanding that I have to do um, in between coats of epoxy. So now I'm taking parchment paper and I am making sure that all of the glitter is laying down really well because it's one less thing that I have to worry about 
during the sanding process is chunky glitter pieces that are constantly poking up. So if you haven't tried that before, you can use parchment paper. Some people use wax paper. I've got parchment on hand, so that's what I'm using. And going back in with my KS Resin, uh, the Liquidy Split Ultra UV, it's a fast set epoxy. And I have 30 milliliters of this because this is a 30 milliliter cup. And it, it worked out fine just having that amount. So I go into the middle first where there is no glitter because I kind of want to keep most of the glitter off of the middle part of this tumbler. So if a little bit goes into the center, it's no big deal. We're going to be decorating it with other items. So, but, um, you know, for the majority, I would like to keep the glitter out of that center. Oh, and before I started doing this part, the cup dried at least two hours and I took, um, let's see, what is it called? Um, Rust-Oleum two times clear. I spray painted that onto my tumbler so that my glitter wouldn't move and it would seal my glitter. And that just helps you not to have any weird micro bubbles that get trapped underneath the glitter. So make sure that you're going in and coating this whole tumbler very, very well. And, you know, I always say don't make the bottoms fat. So less epoxy on the bottom so that your tumbler isn't going to tip over if um, whenever you put it down on a table. So just go through top to bottom, make sure that this tumbler is completely coated with your epoxy. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, I've used others, but I am always in a hurry. So <laughs> I like to use a fast set epoxy. Now going in with a torch, popping any micro bubbles that may be there. You can wait if you want to. Um, but I usually go in as soon as I get the epoxy on since it's fast set and I make sure that any micro bubbles have been torched. So now I've got two or three layers of epoxy on the cup at this point in time and it's time to start cleaning up and decorating it. So I went in with acetone to remove any of the spray paint that got inside of the tumbler and I used the X-Acto knife to get rid of any epoxy that was on the lip of the cup. And now I'm going in with fine grit sandpaper and just removing any um, lumpy parts. Now, it's okay at this point in time if your tumbler has a little bit of a variation of texture to it. However, I'm going to be adding decals, so I want to make sure it's as smooth as I can get it without getting into the, the glitter and ruining the glitter. And that's why I put on two to three coats of epoxy because I don't want to ruin any of the glitter. I love the sanding block for the top and the bottom of the tumblers. Um, it just, this, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me and the way that I'm holding the sandpaper here, but like this hurts my hands after a while. So using the sanding block, it's a little bit rougher and it, it really works well on the surfaces that are a little bit more chunky. So after it's been sanded, I have washed it with Dawn Dish Soap and Water and I have cut out some decals with my Silhouette cutting machine. I got these files from a friend. So these are called, I think, Fuzzy Leopard Spots where you put down um, an accent color underneath and then you put epoxy on top of it and then you add your other color, which will mine will be black, on top of the leopard spots here. So this one is um, a gold textured vinyl and I love it. It is, I have gold, I have rose gold, and I have silver and it cuts out really nicely. Um, so if you're looking for a textured look in your vinyl, um, this will be linked in the description. It's a really great vinyl. Um, so I'm going in with the fuzzy leopard spots and with the monstera leaves. And hopefully I'm saying that right. It's how I say it in my head. So hopefully that's, you know, it is what it is. So I'm kind of going in and thinking about where I'm going to be having the other part of the black vinyl that goes onto the gold vinyl. 
And, you know, I'm keeping that in mind while I'm putting the monstera leaves on also. And then I'll be going in shortly with some um, smaller black little leopard spots too. So a lot is going on in this, but once it's done, it, I don't think it looks too crazy. <laughs> I asked my girlfriend, Christy, she is from Christy's Custom Creations. I said, hey, what do you think about these leopard spots and monstera leaves? And so she's like, girl, I hardly ever do any of those. Ask Susie. So Susie is one of our friends and um, she was the one that um, hooked me up with the files for this and I just think it turned out really cute. I actually haven't showed this to her so I'll be interested to see what she says about this cup. So now I'm going in with some of the smaller little leopard spots just putting them kind of randomly where I want them but not going overboard because I love the glitter and I just want it to look tropical without being too gaudy honestly. Okay, so at this point in time, I have spray painted the cup again with Rust-Oleum 2 times clear. I've let that dry and I've put on a coat of epoxy on top of everything I just did. And I washed the cup, made sure it was nice and dry. And now I'm going on in with the black part that goes on top of the gold, quote, fuzzy, end quote, leopard spots, okay? So she told me to do this. And so that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, I'm assuming it's probably kind of hard to get the um, epoxy to lay nice and flat if you did it any other way. So I did what she told me to do because I'm a good listener. <laughs> and going in with two or three more coats of this epoxy. And this cup was pretty much done. It turned out really, really nice. I want to do more fuzzy spots and monstera leaves eventually on other cups, but... I am obsessed with this cup. It is so pretty. Make sure you pop any of your micro bubbles. Just going back in. Hey, if you're still listening, would you please like and subscribe? I am trying to get more followers and would really, really love it if you could help me out. Um, hello, how gorgeous is this cup? You guys, I hope that this helped give you some inspiration. I hope you try it and... I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.